What is the best local VS Code Copilot replacement you can use? There are a lot of options out there. Continue is a big one, but it's only in a chat interface and not completion in the code window. There's Llama Coder, which is code completion, but sometimes it's actually nice to have that chat interface as well. Some would say there's Kodi from Sourcegraph, but the pricing model is still a bit up in the air for local models. And there are a few others I have yet to try. Recently, I did a pair of videos showing how I use Continue and Llama Coder together to make a perfect setup. And then Richard McCarthy reached out to me to tell me about a project he made called Twinny. Twinny? 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 Um, let's go with Twinny. He's from a region called Gower in Wales, which is gorgeous. But maybe I love the area so much because once when I was 10 years old, I found a five pound note in the water on a beach on that peninsula. But I think it may also actually be a beautiful place. I have no idea what 20 means, but I think so far it may be the best of the coding assistants in VS Code. There is still some cleanup that needs to happen, but it's getting there. It has all the features of Llama Coder and Continue combined, but it also goes a bit further to make it easier to use. So here I am in a little program I was writing to make it easy to search on a Lambda AI for models from the CLI. If I want to search for all the models on the server that use Mistral, I can search for that. Or everything with Mistral Dolphin or Dolphin Mistral, then I can do this. Pretty useful. Now, as I was building this, Llama Coder was giving me good suggestions, but sometimes I needed a bit more. So with Continue, I can select this code to cycle through all the repos and look for search terms, and I get an overlay that says use Command M to select or Command Shift L to edit. Command M will select and copy to a new Continue chat window, and Command Shift L will bring up a command box for you to type a request in, and it will put the results back in the code window. But I find I have to clean up a lot when that happens, and the chat window doesn't always work. So there's a little friction there that I hope they can resolve. I can also select some code, right click, and choose a bunch of options, but this will also replace my code, and again, I have to do a bit of cleanup when with what comes out. So let's try this in twi 20, 20, uh, 20. After enabling, I'll restart VS Code just to make sure everything's set. Sometimes when disabling and enabling some competing plugins, I find a restart really helps. We'll start off in the settings for the extension. Things are a little rough here. There's an API URL, which is really just the host name. Then the API path to the generate endpoint. Then there are ports for chat and fill in the middle. Next, we have the model names. Now, if you change the model for infilling, then you should also set the template format. We can disable auto suggest, which is interesting. And you can set a context length, which I changed from 10 lines before and after to 30. Then a wait to delay generating completions. You can set temperature. And it's pretty cool that it will try to bring in the context of nearby documents. And then a completion cache is really neat. You can specify max token limits. And then a few other things that I don't think anyone actually needs. When I first made this video, there was one big omission, and that was the ability to set the infilling template. So you had to stick with Code Llama. I reached out to Richard about that, and as soon as he woke up, he added a feature to adjust the templates for chat and the different functions, but not infilling. And then later in the day, he added support for stable code for infilling. DeepSeek Coder still isn't there, but I wouldn't be surprised if by the time you watch this, it's there. I still would love the ability to use the next model that uses some other format that we don't know about yet by defining that format ourselves, but this is a good next step. Having to re-record this video all over again for that, I, it's okay, I don't mind. Okay, well, with that out of the way, let's start working with Twinny. Of course, it has the tab completion that Llama Coder has, but it's a little bit slower because I have to work with Code Llama, which it starts at 7 billion parameters. But what's really special is if I select this code and then right click, I have a bunch of choices at the bottom of the menu. 
And this is what I really love. It makes it so easy to add types, explain, generate docs, refactor, or write tests. Continue also offers that, though the way they list it is a bit more confusing. But most of those options in Twinny are here in the sidebar as well. They surface as buttons. So after explaining, I can easily refactor or write tests. I can do that and continue, but it's up to me to type out what I want rather than clicking a simple button. Sorry, sometimes I'm just lazy. And everything always gets a preview in Twinny, which you don't always get in continue. I think this gets all the good things from both Llama Coder and Continue, and maybe the most perfect local AI assistant for VS Code so far. I just wish I could choose DeepSeek Coder. And again, that's probably gonna be there very, very soon. Now, some will say that DeepSeek Coder at 1.3 billion parameters or stable code at 3 billion is nowhere near as good as Code Llama at 7 billion parameters. But to that, my response is that it's an apples to oranges comparison. There is a deep seek coder with 6.7 billion parameters, but what I want in code completion isn't a full solution to everything in my head. Instead, I want help completing the line or function I'm typing, and I need it quick. As long as the results are decent, then speed is the most important factor. And I don't feel that I'm actually giving up much in terms of quality. I think some of the most exciting developments in the next 6 to 12 months in this area is the improvement of small models. The models that let you do amazing things without breaking a sweat on your laptop, or even run on a tiny device like a Raspberry Pi. Check out this video by Ian Wooten on doing that after finishing this one. What are your thoughts on this? Is there another solution I should try? Privy is another one I've heard of, but I haven't had a chance to get into it yet. CodeGPT used to be a favorite, but it's been a while since using it. And what do you think of that Olamata AI model search tool? Would that be interesting to share? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you've paid any attention to the comments in every other video I have, you know I spend a lot of time down there. And every idea folks have is in my list of ideas for future videos, and I do expect to get to them all. This one was from a response on Twitter two days ago. And that last video was a response to a comment from two days before that. So your comments turn into videos pretty quick. I would also love to hear about the best thing that you have found at the beach, wherever you are. I think I can stick with this new cadence of a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for a long while to come. So like and subscribe to see them all as they come out. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.